There are thousands of different styles in the martial arts world. Two of the most popular ones are karate and kung fu. What would happen when these two martial arts disciplines face off against each other? Watch this video to the end to find out. At a Chinese kickboxing event called Wu Lin Feng, a match was once organized featuring a karate background fighter named Yuichiro Nagashima a few years ago. At that time, Yuichiro faced off against a Shaolin Kung Fu expert named Yi Long. Yi Long himself is very active in MMA fighting. In addition to being a fighter, Yi Long is also a Wushu practitioner. Yi Long was born in Dezhu Shandong and self-taught in Shaolin Kung Fu. Meanwhile, Yuichiro Nagashima was born in 1984 in Nishinomiya, Hyogo. He began learning judo while in elementary school and continued his training until he graduated from junior high school. Then, while in high school, Yuichiro began regularly training in karate. Initially, the fighter nicknamed Jinotsu wanted to become a professional wrestler. But considered too short, he decided to become a fighter instead. Nagashima has been active in various martial arts tournaments for decades. He's known for his unique costume style that likes cosplay. As well as his karate fighting style is far from giving up. He showed this when facing the Shaolin Kung Fu Master. In the first round, Yi Long managed to trouble Nagashima several times. Every landed punch was always accompanied by cheers from the audience, most of whom were his fans. The Japanese fighter did not stay silent and retaliated by delivering a hard punch to Yi Long, causing him to fall. This seemed to make the Shaolin appear somewhat dizzy and tired. In the following round, Yi Long managed to regain his momentum. At the start of the second round, Nagashima needed treatment after sustaining an injury to his temple. However, although Yi Long managed to dominate the match overall, the judges decided that the match ended in a draw. Indeed, that's the nature of martial arts. Decisions can be very subjective and depend on the judge's evaluation. So, sometimes the results can be surprising or controversial. Next, there's a moment when a Kung Fu expert in the Wing Chun style named Yu Changhua was underestimated by Xiong Cheng Cheng, an MMA athlete who fights with one hand. Despite only having one usable arm, he showed no fear or hesitation. Meanwhile, the Kung Fu master tried to utilize his speed and technique, but seemed to struggle to find an opening. In the martial arts world, fights between two different styles always draw attention. This time, we will discuss a unique fight, namely Kyokushin Karate against Tai Chi Kung Fu. The rules of this fight follow the Kyokushin set, which emphasizes attacks to the body and legs. This was evident from the many kicks performed by both fighters, targeting the lower body area of the opponent. At the end of the match, the judges declared the Tai Chi Kung Fu fighter as the winner. Then, in another fight between Kyokushin Karate and Tai Chi Kung Fu, the karate fighter was overwhelmed again. This fight also featured many interesting techniques, dominated by leg attacks.
The fight between Kung Fu and Karate was no less exciting. One of the standout moments from this fight was the use of fast straight kicks, which proved effective against spinning kicks due to their speed and direct target hit. In 2011, Yilong fought against a fighter from City Kickboxing, Brad Riddell. This fight became one of the most memorable in Long's career because of a particular moment. For instance, when Long unleashed three spinning kick attacks consecutively three times. Or a secret technique where he was able to absorb attacks from his opponent. This New Zealand fighter, Brad Riddell, thoroughly dominated Yi Long. But impressively, Long didn't flinch when receiving a barrage of powerful punches from his opponent. At least Riddell landed seven solid punches to Yi Long's face and jaw. But even after displaying an excellent performance, Yi Long was eventually defeated by Riddell. Right hand. And it looked like the lights went out for a second, but he just waits and says, give me your best shot, and he has plenty of them. And still he comes. These two martial arts styles have different philosophies and techniques, making their fight not only physically interesting, but also strategic. The next karate versus kung fu fight also presented very exciting techniques, where the kung fu fighter fought like someone drunk, or what is commonly known as the drunken god technique. Meanwhile, the karate fighter played according to his style, which is aggressive and full contact. As a result, their fight repeatedly drew gasps of admiration from the audience. The climax occurred when the karate fighter successfully landed a super hard kick to the face of the kung fu fighter. This attack marked who was the winner in this duel. Let's take a step back to 1999 to witness another thrilling karate versus kung fu fight. In this classic fight, the kung fu fighter appeared more dominant. Just a few seconds into the first round, he managed to knock down the karate fighter with his strong leg attack. After that, the karate fighter immediately responded with a kick that not only thwarted the kung fu fighter's spinning kick, but also knocked him down. Both fighters exchanged attacks until the match ended, and the referee decided the victory for the Kung Fu Fighter. Next, we move forward to 2018, when Yi Long faced off in an epic battle against a giant karate fighter named Hong Man Choi. Despite facing a significant difference in body size, Yilong showed no fear. He led the fight with his bravery and impressive strength. Yilong successfully avoided Choi's powerful attacks several times and launched sharp counterattacks. However, the fight suddenly ended after Choi accidentally received a kick to his groin. Since the fighter from Korea couldn't continue the fight after the break, Yi Long was declared the winner 